ever wondered how you can protect yourself from nuclear fallout without needing a billionaire's bank account or an underground mansion straight out of a sci-fi movie? Well, grab your shovel because we're about to dig into building your very own DIY bunker on a budget. Let's face it, most of us don't have millions to spend on a fancy underground hideaway like some celebrities or world leaders. But the good news is, you can build a functional fallout shelter that'll keep you safe for a fraction of the cost. All you need is a little elbow grease, some basic supplies, and perhaps a buddy to lend a hand. Ready to go underground. Let's break it down. Step one, location, 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 location. First up, find a good spot. Make sure it's on flat ground, away from trees and buildings. Why? You don't want your shelter crushed by a flaming tree if a fire breaks out. A clear, open space is what we're aiming for. Think of it as real estate shopping, but for survival. Step two, dig like you mean it. Grab that shovel or rent a backhoe if you wanna feel like a pro. Start digging a trench three feet wide and five feet deep. Going solo, it might take a couple of days, but if you've got help, you'll have it done faster. Now, remember, this trench needs to be long enough to fit you and whoever you plan on inviting to your survival party. Step three, create a secret entrance next. Build a five foot long entrance with a sloped ramp or stairs. Just imagine the grand entrance to your future underground lair. But seriously, this part is key for easy access. On the opposite side, make a small ventilation trench to keep that air flowing. No one wants to survive a nuclear blast just to run out of oxygen. Step four, cover it up. Now for the fun part, laying wooden poles across the trench to create a sturdy roof. It should be strong enough to hold up all the soil you'll be piling on top. If you don't want to chop trees like a lumberjack, just buy them. Logs or poles around seven feet long will do the trick. Step five, make it snug and secure stuff the gaps between the logs with leaves, cloth, or whatever you can find. You're not just playing around with home decor here. This is about making sure dirt doesn't leak in and ruin your makeshift fortress. Because who wants a bunker that turns into a mud pit? Step six, layer it with love and soil. Finally, pile up that dirt. You'll want an 18 inch mound on top of your logs like adding frosting on a cake. Top it with plastic sheeting, then add another layer of soil. This sandwich-like structure is what stands between you and those nasty radioactive particles. And voila, there you have it. A DIY fallout bunker for less than a week's paycheck and way less drama than dealing with contractors. It might not be as luxurious as a billionaire's bunker, but hey, it'll do the job. And remember, it's not just about building a shelter. It's about building peace of mind. So who's ready to dig in?